Hello everybody and welcome to another one of my YouTube videos. Today we're going to be having a look at the British Tier 8 heavy tank, the Carnarvon. Here it is in my Christmas garage. I've just downloaded the 9.13 patch update and that comes with the, the Christmas garage for 2015. You get a beautiful set of northern lights over there. Um, some Christmas decorations, Christmas tree fireworks in the background. So it looks, it looks pretty nice. And a nice little ice sculpture as well. Anyway, back to the Carnarvon. Uh, this has recently had its turret replaced with the, the same turret sort of shape as the, the one on the British, yeah, the new British Tier 10 Medium, the Centurion Action X. Um, I don't actually have the Centurion in my garage, but um, this is the tank I'm talking about, and this is the sort of turret shape. So they replaced the Carnarvon turret with the one on the Action X. I'm not sure for what reason, uh, just for consistency maybe, but um, if you look at the armour values, 198 armour, and it's pretty well sloped at tier 8, you know, sounds pretty good, so um, I've not played the Carnarvon since um, I unlocked the, the Conqueror and moved the crew up, um, but um, I recently retrained a crew to, you know, to plonk into this tank, and um, yeah, I thought I'd sort of take it out to see how the, the new turret up, new turret stands up to punishment, so um, I've got a replay for you, so um, yeah, let's go check it out now. Okay, we're here on Winterberg. It's a tier 9 game. Uh, about 50% of each team is tier 9s. Um, we've got uh, a number of tier 8s, including myself, and a few very unlucky tier 7s. So on this map, I had a look at the, the team listings. Um, there seem to be, you know, we seem to have a lot of a fair number of mediums and um, I'm going to leave it to them to sort of uh, defend and attack the village there in the um, sort of eastern side. I'm planning to go to G1 to that corner at G1 and um, sort of position myself there so um, yeah let's see how this um, this new turret on the Carnarvon holds up. Um, there are tier 9 tanks in this game so it um, should be a good test to see if I can actually um, you know, dink any shots from uh, from their big guns. So, uh, just making my way across. It was just the Carnarvon's turret that was changed. The so speed remains the same. So, um, we're going to steadily but surely make our way to the location I want to get to. A lot of the enemy team are spotted. They've got a fair number of their mediums on, on that sort of um, eastern side near the village. And most of our heavy tanks have gone up the, the main road straight towards the, the cap area. It's only me here who's on the extreme edge, so I'm nearly in position. Knock down as many telegraph poles as I can. Which is pretty dumb, because I mean, that does let the people know if someone is waiting there on the other side of that uh, square. Yeah, and there is, there's an MX-30. He misses his shot, and I put a shot through him, straight through him. That's the kind of target I like. He's got no armor as well, so my gun should have no problems penning him. If I can hit him, obviously. So um, he's backing off. There's another few heavies here. Uh, e75, the enemy E75. Ping a shot off his side of his turret. And there's a VK 4502A who pings a shot off my turret. He backs off. I ping a shot off him. I pull out again. Take a shot from the E25 by the looks of it, but it did pen. But um, I did get penned by that VK. So this time he pings a shot off my turret. I return the favour. Even though shooting this couple up, RT's getting involved, but it's a bit of a wayward shot. A KV5 charged in towards that MX30, and he's been taken out. I'm still waiting for shots. From the minimap, it looks like that AMX-30 is going to come back, so I'm going to pull back a little bit and line up, you know, the corner he's going to likely to appear at. And there he is, and I dunk my shot. <laughs> All that preparation, and still no results. I could have killed him then, because he's on quite low hit points, but just missed it. Gonna went low. And there he is again. This time I ricochet a shot off his the top of his turret, which is quite well angled. Pull that again. 
Another enemy tank's turned up. A panther. Oh, Arty takes out the MX. I'll put a shot into the panther. He starts backing off. Oh, he's 75 there. And I get smacked hard. I should have waited. I should have lost my sort of like spotting thing, but uh, yeah. Put a shot into the e E75's Kerpler. Panther's turned up again. He hits me and then pings a shot. And he looks like he's rolling up again. Enemy armor is hit. He misses. I put a shot straight through his hull armor. There he is again. We he's persistent. Up. But, yeah. He's now down to 45% health. I think he might have had enough. He's starting to back away. I'll pull out again. See this IS. Put a quick snapshot into his turret. Artie's shooting at me again. The Panther's come back. He's persistent. The VK's headed off it towards where the Panther is. Ping another two shots from the IS and the E75. Get a hit by that Panther again. The VK's turned up. Put a shot through his hull. Re-angle my tank a little bit more. My artillery gets taken now. There's the Panther again. Coming back for more. And he's still there. Enemy is hit. Shoot the VK who got in front of the Panther. Panther pings me again. And pulls back. The enemy E75 is pushing. Just wait to see if that Panther will try his luck again. And he does. But again, my aim shot goes wild. VK returns. Can I hit the panther? No, nope. backs off. The VK. Enemy armor is hit. Yep. Get a, a lucky shot into his lower hull there. Panther pings another. Shot off my turret. Game is now 9-6. Panther's disappeared. VK's disappeared. The enemy are losing tanks. is now 10-6. I don't think the Panther's going to make a reappearance. I think he's had enough. The VK has definitely backed off. Enemy trying to cap. E75. Spot the IS. Going to take him out first. Shot straight through his turret armor. VK is not quite visible. Shoot the IS, but he, he returns the favor. I repair my truck. Enemy armor is hit. Put another shot into the IS. He's shot back, so he, you know he's probably not got the 122 millimeter. He gets taken out. There's the E75. Ping a shot off the side of his turret. Still can't pen him. Wait to reload and gotcha. take him out. It's pretty good. Still alive. Let's have a look at the results. I got a tank mastery one and steel wall. Doing damage to all those tanks there. I am top for damage and experience points with 3307 damage and 1208 XP. And yeah, and there you go 2855 damage blocked by my turret.